gospodinom kolegicom Javri, ja neću imati refleksiju, ali vjerujem da će kolege koje vidi, kolegice i kolege koje vidim u sali imati nešto reći na ovaj referat, a to ćemo također ostaviti za vrijeme koje je predviđeno, za period koje je predviđeno za raspravu. Sada mi je posljedna čast najaviti izlaganje našeg gosta, profesora Oleda Jasnišnita, koji je redovni profesor na jugoističnoj Evropi na univerzitetu u Beču. 2010. godine bio je gostujući profesor na College de France, redovni član Neusvijske akademije nauka, a od 2017. godine predsjednik je odeljenja za humanističkih i društvenih nauka Neusvijske akademije. Trenutno je i predsjednik ili šef osvijeta Balkanskih studija na institutu modernije i savremene istorije Neusvijske akademije nauka. Profesor Šmit, možete se opisati. Dear President Krivković, dear Professor Juspacic, dear colleagues, first of all, I want to thank you very much for the kind invitation, and I have also the honor to convey you the greetings of the presiding committee of the Austrian Academy of Sciences. Um, we uh, take this conference also as a very good sign of our cooperation all over the years, and especially academician Juspacic was has always been the pillar of this cooperation. Um, I will try to um, present you some, some ideas and also personal um, impressions on medieval studies in Bosnia. And since I have um, about 10 minutes at my disposal, I will first focus on some structural um, ideas on the position of Bosnian medieval studies. Then I will um, briefly focus on source editions that had, uh, have been published uh, recently then um, say some words on new fields and then pick out four major monographs or um, contributions also in forms of uh, articles to the field of medieval studies in recent years. Um, Bosnian medieval history has a lot to say to general European um, history and I think this is my uh, starting um, observation. And, um, Having a closer look at uh, those people active in this field, then we have to observe that it's a very small circle. It's mainly limited to historians here in Bosnia and some uh, historians also from, from Serbia as well. But uh, in the 21st century, there was no pendant to John Stein, who was uh, one of the very few uh, non-Bosnian, non-Serbian historians contributing to medieval Bosnian history. So um, if you compare the enormous number of um, scholars working on the last 25 years in Bosnian history, and you compare it to the long time span of medieval history, and this very limited or non-existing uh, <coughs> interest on the part of non-Bosnian or non-Post-Yugoslav historians, this is quite striking, and this is certainly one of the major challenges uh, also for Bosnian medieval um, history to um, become a bit more visible and, and to show also to an international audience that it has really something to say. So this as a um, first um, point, from the perspective of someone, um, perhaps I have briefly to clarify my um, own uh, position. I'm not working on Bosnian medieval history. I have a focus on the history of late medieval Dalmatia, uh, mainly southern Dalmatia, the island of, of Kortula. So where in, in the archives, working and working mainly in the archives of southern Bosnia um, as a hinterland of Dalmatia is of course an important topic. Second point, source editions. And I think there, so the the last months have really changed something. So we, in, in the last year, two major source editions have been published after a very long time where no such major endeavors um, have been finished. I refer um, first um, to Esad Kurtovic's edition of extracts from um, Beth's records from um, Dubrovnik. And I think this is really one of the most valuable source editions. And then the monumental Codex Diplomaticos Vejni uh, Bosnie, which um, certainly will change also um, at least um, the accessibility of um, sources. I'm currently um, teaching a seminary on Bosnian medieval charters in Vienna, and we got, so in the middle of this seminary, we got this source edition, and then we could also um, change a bit our base, because until then, we worked with the documents published in the study, and if we compare now this um, 
Bosnian um, source addition to the Serbian one. Uh, as you know, um, Serbian historiography has achieved several years ago just the first, vo the first volume of an uh, edition of um, Serbian charters, and now we have uh, almost um, complete um, source collection for Bosnian um, medieval history. Of course, one can always um, criticize minor philological points, but this is not my uh, uh, this is not my position here. But I will just refer to, refer to the fact that this source edition really makes available. Uh, the huge uh, wealth of uh, relevant uh, material, not only to a Bosnian, but also to an international scientific audience. Third point, new fields. 